Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Menu True Nerd, and welcome to They Are Billions. They Are Billions is a sort of strategy, steampunk-themed, sort of RTS, maybe even a little bit tower defence, town building sort of thing, about fending off a big horde of zombies. And seriously, I've like looked out to the window, there's quite a few zombies out there, like at least thousands of them, possibly even tens of thousands. It's also really bloody difficult, like I've played two test games just to get to grips with the absolute basics, and in both times I died within about six minutes of starting, so... <laughs> this game's not messing around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set all of the settings to the middle difficulty, the accessible difficulty. Now, accessible is generally in games a good euphemism for this is quite manageable even if you haven't really played many video games before. Oh no! No, no, no! Not in this one! And in we come to the post-apocalypse, lovely. Because there's been an apocalypse, would you believe it's been one of the zombie apocalypses on this occasion? I'm going to pause time, because time ticks by very quickly and then you just flipping die. Because the map seems to be a bit randomly generated out of certain assets, because yeah, every time I've played it I've got a slightly different map. So, um, welcome to the post-apocalypse. So there are indeed billions of zombies floating around somewhere or other. Some of them will probably be coming to eat me pretty soon. And I start off with a nice good old-fashioned steampunk spook house, together with four blokes with bows and arrows, and one person who decided to spring for a gun in the post-apocalypse. So... You know, this is going to go well. So anyway, this is basically a strategy game, and that basically means we need to start off gathering resources. We need to build stuff, like defences and whatever. So, luckily, you can also pause. You can pause constantly. Obviously, you don't gain new resources while you're paused, but you are allowed to build new things, or rather, lay out the templates for new things that'll only start building when time restarts. So, kind of like FTL, you're going to be wanting to pause a bit. So there's a few things to juggle, like food, energy, gold, wood, stone, all that stuff. Probably a good starting point is just throwing down a few tents. Tents mean more people. More people who aren't workers generate more gold. Basically, yeah, people either become workers where they do something or they're not doing anything, in which case they're producing bonus gold. So that's probably not a bad place to start. Let's just slap down a few tents. So we're in pause right now, slap down a whole bunch of tents. That'll do as a starting point. That's just burnt a load of gold, but that's fine. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna send these guys around just to scout out the lay of the land, because you might just find some stuff sitting around that'd be- No! That's a doom town. Um, okay, good. So I've spawned next to a doom town. That's going to generate a whole bunch of zombies. That used to be a town. Oh, good. This is useful. Bunch of iron, bunch of wood. Good. That's a nope. That's a raven, not a zombie. We haven't found zombies yet. There'll be zombies somewhere pretty close by. <laughs> Don't you flipping worry. Um... This is a bit of a worrying map because, yeah, there's a doom town and it's all a bit wide, so it's going to be hard to wall off. But on the plus side, there's Let's plenty go. of water and plenty of stuff around here. Oh, we found the zombies, by the way. Yeah, I found the zombies. Not billions of them, but, you know, a good enough starting point. So we've got gold coming in here, and we've also got a little bit of a stockpile of wood. Good. Probably the next thing we need to do is actually get more wood coming in. So let's actually just get down a... No, I don't actually have the gold for a sawmill yet. That'll be coming in soon. Fisherman's Cottage. Apparently I could just put a... <laughs> I could just start fishing in this little pond right here. That'd probably be a bad idea. I don't really need to worry about that just yet. Can you fish in this? This little hot pot? Apparently not, no. I tell you what, never say no to free food. Just put a single fisherman's cottage down there. We'll fish in this little hole and that'll be absolutely fine. Right, you guys, while that's just building, naff off over here. Keep an eye on when I hit 300 gold. When I hit 300, there's more zombies. Yeah, there's going to be a few of them. This, by the way, was, you know, a low number of zombies. A low and accessible number of zombies. There's more zombies. Right, so we found out where the zombies are. What we need to do at some point is, yeah, we need to wall off here. We need to wall off there. We definitely need to wall off this, because this is, yeah, zombie town. Uh, right, let's just uh, scout out what's going on here and just get some gold. There we go. We got some gold coming in. As we've got some gold coming in, let's actually just slap down now a sawmill. That needs to go next to woods. If it's in a good position next to woods, it can produce lots of wood. Uh, what's going to be the best optimal position for you? 14 isn't the best, but it'll do. Yeah, that'll be fine. And the other big resource we obviously need to get something coming in is a quarry. We're going to need another 300 gold for that, so keep an eye out for that. Get time ticking along while that thing is building. I just need some wood coming in, and aha! This is promising. This is good. A good little app. There's some zombies there. Hopefully there might be some stuff lying around. Come on, come on, come on. No, I've only found, like, one little bundle of free stuff, and there's some zombies. They're going to start chasing me. I think some of them saw me. That's fine. There's... Where's the other guy? I swear I had, like, a guy with a gun. What happened to the guy with the gun? Oh, he just started to stay here, did he? Well, that's fine, then. He can just stay at home and guard home. We'll be attacked sooner or later. 
Not yet. And there's, yeah, there's the zombies. Uh, I just need to find out where the natural limits that I can just get to right now without actually antagonizing the zombies are. Sawmill has been completed because it's been completed. Okay. If there are workers available, they'll automatically go over there. And thus, I'm now getting passively uh, wood in forever. Yeah. It never runs out. As long as there is a sawmill and there's woods next to it, that will just keep producing stuff. This is nice. I've actually managed to find a nice little area over here with no zombies okay. yet. So I've actually managed to get a good little look around the map here. Any chance of some more stuff? No, I've been unlucky. I haven't really found much stuff just lying around to get you sorted in this particular map. Right, well, I've had a good look around here. We've actually explored a fair bit of the map. So, we've now got, yes, yeah, some wood coming in. When this bar fills up, that's my storage capacity filled up. So, I'm only allowed to hold, like, 50 wood until I build, like, a warehouse or something. Uh, so, yeah, good starting point will probably be I now need to get down a little quarry. So, if I build that right here, that only produces four stone. You're probably thinking, well, you probably ought to go over here and get this stone. Because, you know, that's good over here. Unfortunately, you can only build inside the energy nexus of your command center. You need to extend that by building pylons. So basically, if I click on this thing, hang on, if I just click on here. Yeah, it's all those squares that are highlighted around the main building. So like around here and then around here. Yeah, if I build here, I only get flipping five stone because there's not much in the way of stone around here. What I should probably start doing, therefore, is thinking about expanding over to here because this is a better little selection of stone I could start mining. Plus, this isn't a bad place to hold, to be honest. I can build walls here, walls here. Yeah, this is a logical place to actually expand to. I'll probably, like, wall off here, set some defences up here, and then start expanding in this direction. That's probably not a bad starting point. The game is fine with me having more than one sawmill next to a single bit of forest, by the way. It's just they have to be a bit of a distance apart, and they just can't quite overlap or whatever. So, like, I'm not allowed to have one here, but the game's totally fine with me having a second sawmill here for eight. You know what, I'll have another eight. You use wood a lot, because wood is used for your basic defences, some basic walls. So having some extra wood coming in would not be the worst thing in the world. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to start expanding out my power out in this direction. So, energy. I'm going to need 200 gold for a Tesla tower to expand the energy range of the colony. Fine, so watch out for 200 gold coming in. Keep my hunters moving. Hunters move faster than the basic soldiers, so it's not a bad idea just to... Oh, there's some more flipping zombies. Yeah, that's fine. Some of them move faster than others. There's some more as well. Edge round here, and then actually we've done a pretty good job filling in the map so far. There is fog of war, so I can't actually see what's going on now, but still, that's not a bad starting point in the slightest. Lovely. Right, you guys, probably at this point, head home and stand close by to here with your soldier friends. These guys will do for the time being, but not for that long. Right, okay, we've now got the energy we need. It's very easy to kind of lose track of what's going on in this game. Right, Tesla Tower gets built within the existing energy range and extends it out to where it shows there. So that'll do for me for now, I'd say. Because actually over here we've got more forest and more water. So that would be more fishing for food and more woods for wood. And wood is a good starting point, yes. So let's just kind of slap down one there. And actually I could afford a second over to here. Sadly and annoyingly, it doesn't quite reach over to where I want it to, but it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to start expanding in that direction either. Though actually, if I want to block off here, I kind of do. Yeah, where do I think the first attack's going to... Well, I don't really know where the first attack's going to come from. There'll be big waves of enemies sooner or later. For the time being, probably expand expanding out in this sort of direction wouldn't be the worst. Ah, you know what, I'll wait for, I'll wait for like, um, this one to be built. Because once this one's built, I'll probably be able to put one here, and that'll probably work a bit better for building a wall about here, fine. Now, I'm running a bit low on workers right now, so I'm also just going to slap down a handful of extra tents here, just to get some more people coming into the colony. So, we're expanding the colony, we're getting more people in, because, yeah, the number of workers that's available is uh, a bit low. Right now, I've only got two workers available. So, it's because I've been kind of shoving workers into this thing, because this requires some workers to function, and this thing requires workers to function as well. So, yeah, as a result, I actually just need some more people joining the colony in order to get some more workers going on. So, that's expanded, and now we've got a whole bunch of newly available workers. Lovely. So, the wood's currently at capacity, so I kind of need to get rid of some wood. So that's absolutely fine. Let's actually get our first little kind of walled off area going on here. I'm very happy to pretty much just say the shortest possible area between here and here. Yep, there we go. So that's just going to be a walled off area right there. Because there's a doom town down there. Let's not worry about that right now. That can be terrifying. So we'll get some flipping defences built right there. Those will now be in production and they'll spring up pretty bloody fast. If I wanted to, I could also just slap down a wood tower 
for how much wood and a little bit of gold? Yeah, you know what? I suspect something will be coming from this direction sooner or later. I'm just going to slap down a basic defense tower right here. So if anything comes from Doomtown, then that guy will just help shoot at it, and that will all be lovely. Having just a few towers dotted around, not a bad idea. Because generally, if an attack comes from a direction you're not expecting, you'll die pretty bloody quickly. Now, one more Tesla tower over here, because yeah, I want to get to these woods and this water. Because right now, as we're expanding the population, the amount of available free food is going down. That's... I didn't mean to do that one. Hang on, that's just... No, no, cancel that. Do I get the money back? Hopefully I got the money back. I'm not 100% sure there. Yes, we're just expanding out in this direction. Then I'm going to slap down... Wait, is there a gap here? If there's a gap here, I'll need to plug this up. There's totally a gap here. Okay, but on the plus side, this is actually not a bad gap to potentially plug up. So, luckily my guys can just basically take out these guys. Fine, okay. There's a gap here, and that's arguably a bit of a concern, but that one's pretty easy to plug up. Fine. Let's just get some basic stuff going on here. You guys just be up here and guard this area while I try and set up down south. Wood's back to max, so we're getting plenty of wood in right now. Arguably, I don't need to rush more wood. What I could do with, however, is a bit more on the food side. Either a fisherman's cottage, shove that down, yeah, that's 14 food. Or I could go for a hunter's cottage, which needs, like, grassland and forests. That's... That's 16, and arguably this is a bit safer, so probably I'll just shove that down right over here. So that's going to be another 16 food. That means with the spare food, I can have more tents. With the extra tents, I can have more colonists. With more colonists, I can have more workers, and then I can have more buildings. So it's all basically a nice little apocalypse in spreadsheet form. What I most certainly want, however, is, yeah, this thing needs to be blocked off immediately. And I will also get an extra tower down as I am swimming in wood right now. And I'm going to put that... I'll put that around here, because then that can probably help out even if they're coming from, yeah, if they're coming from this direction or this direction, this tower will help out with that. That'll be fine. In fact, you know what? As I've got the wood, I'm actually going to put a double thickness defense here, just for safety. Now, I could shove another Tesla one here in order to kind of expand my wall out to here, but... Even though it would be a little bit inefficient, I'd rather save the gold for the Tesla tower. I'll just basically slap down a wall in the area we've already got covered. It's a little bit scruffy, but it'll do the job for the time being. I'd rather start expanding more aggressively into this sort of a direction, actually. So I'm going to slap a tower down over here, get you guys moving over here, and with the existing wood, I should be able to build most of a wall once I just get a bit more gold in. Yeah, it's every eight hours. You see down here, we've got days and hours. Every eight hours, I get in that much gold and that much wood. So I should have to be able to build a wall here, and the wall supported by a couple of towers, and these guys should be okay for the first wave of zombies. Like, you know, Hopefully. So with each wall costing 10 gold and 3 wood, yeah, you know what? I can come up with something of a wall here. Just be careful I don't build a double length wall when I'm not really meaning to. So those can start building immediately, and then we can also just have ourselves some more towers dotted around here. That Tesla tower is complete. These guys, once we just start getting a little bit more gold coming in, because yeah, we're on plenty of wood right now, and if we need more, I can shove an extra sawmill down. Wood's not a problem. In fact, actually, as I'm sitting on spare food, probably what I should do is just get some more tents in. This south bit is probably pretty safe, all things considered. So let's actually spend some gold right now, just expanding the population, Pretty aggressively, actually. That'll flipping do. So that's spent a bit of... Hang on, what was the limiting factor that stops me spending that? Ah, food. It's a none of the spare food right now. So I need more food. That's okay. I can get more food in pretty quickly. I can just lay down a fisherman's cottage right here for food 14. That fills only one square. That's absolutely fine. So we should start getting a whole bunch more gold in. As soon as that's all done. Yeah, you see, that's now jumped up to plus 257. And my population's jumped enough I get my first mare. So, what are we going to get? And I'll get a choice of these guys. So, bonus tech, a market. Ooh, that's useful. Markets, if you get up to full capacity on a resource, then any surplus is just converted straight into gold. Now, I could get a good surplus of wood going on here, because I've actually got myself a good, nice, secure bit of wood down south. Yes, I'm going to go for her, so I get the technology for markets immediately. That's actually going to work really nicely for me. So, this sawmill can also produce uh, 11. That's allowed, and that's 10. I wouldn't have minded 11, to be honest. But, yeah, you know what? Go for 10. Slap that down. Three sawmills. The workers for it. Plenty of gold coming in. Everything's fine for the time being. What I probably ought to do is... Hmm, Let's just have a little loopsy round with these guys while I'm just waiting for that to happen. So we've now got plenty of food coming in. We've got another sawmill coming in. The zombies are getting closer. 
Right, I'm just going to have these guys here just basically starting to thin out the ranks a little bit. Just keep an eye on them, make sure they don't actually run into trouble. Now, I've almost certainly this point got, yeah, indeed, the wood and also the gold to finish up a wall here. So I'm just going to build a wall, 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 and a wall. So, we've now got a completed wall here, completed wall here, everything is lovely. The south is not exactly safe, because if the zombies decide to come in, they'll absolutely be able to break through that without too much difficulty. But it'll do for the time being. And I've got enough change left over as well to build a couple more towers. So I'll build one tower like... This will have some good coverage. Right, so, with a couple of towers down here, one tower here, another tower here that will hopefully be able to cover, yeah, the south and over here as well, this side should be okay. However, I'm a bit concerned that if they do happen to come from the north, I'm going to be completely bloody screwed right now. So I just need to wait for a bit more gold to be coming in, but with a surplus of wood that should start coming in really fast once this is done, we should be okay on that front. In fact, screw it, just invest, as I've got the bonus food right now, just invest in a few more tents. Let's just get some more tents down, grow that population a bit further. These guys are just going forward a bit more, just a bit further forward. Yeah, the crowd is most definitely creeping forward, so I'm guessing... Oh, our defences are being attacked. Okay, we've got problems coming in here. A zombie has started attacking here. Now, if a zombie's attacking there, that probably means there's going to be several more zombies behind him pretty soon. So I'm going to basically back off from this area. This guy's just going to stay over here. This person's going to come over here and help out. The defences will stand for the time being, but, you know, not indefinitely. Luckily, I can shoot through my own defences pretty easily. Wait. Is there about to be more? Or are we okay for the time being? Also, if I left a hole in my defences right there... I'm not sure, I'm going to build an extra thing like here and here just in case. Right, what I'm probably going to try and do is I'm going to build a bit of a wall, not a prop wall, I'm going to build a bit of a wall along here, and then I'm just going to create like a little choke point here that I can actually have my quarries on, because that will be absolutely lovely. If I could just have some quarries around here, I can have some proper defences and quarries around here, and then I can just have my troops around here. So we're going to say the south is probably like, you know, safe enough and whatever, and we'll try and expand towards this stone here. We'll also probably slap down another quarry around here, because why not? And then we'll have stone coming in, and that's important for the more advanced buildings. And that's all I can build for the time being, because wood's getting a bit on the low side, but we should have wood coming in ludicrously fast at the minute. Yeah, wood is now coming in plus 32 every eight hours. So this is plenty of flipping wood that's being brought in. That's not the problem. I can afford defences. I like having wood nice and early. Uh oh. Hello there. I see you just kind of walking into town. Don't like that one little bit. Also, excuse me, why are we not... Excuse me, why are we not... Ah, there are no units inside. Right, sorry. Need to learn more about this game. Apparently I need to actually bother like loading a unit inside. Right, you go over here and take care of that. Why don't you? Because I didn't actually realise that was how it worked. I thought towers came with their own units inside. Right, okay. You stay up there in your tower. You're nice and safe now. Fine. As I say, only played this game for five minutes. Right, at this point, I probably need to actually start having some new military units popping in sooner or later, don't I? So what I'm going to be needing for that is the workers that I've got, the wood I've got, the stone I don't have, and the gold I've got coming in pretty fast. So I need stone, and I need energy, fine. So here we are, a mill that can produce energy, needs workers, needs wood, needs gold, well that's fine, that's stuff I have. And that produces energy plus 30, fine, that's plenty of energy for the time being then, let's just get that into production, at the same time as building some additional defences up, just continue building the massive wall out towards where the zombies are probably coming from. So that's spent all my wood, but the wood's coming in ludicrously quickly, so you know what, I'm just going to slap down an extra tower over here just for safety as well. So I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, there's more zombies starting to shamble in from that direction, which is starting to unnerve me. Right, you just go over here, and you, as soon as you're done, you can get in there. So then we'll actually have little kind of sniper arches in all of these here towers. I think it gives them a range bonus, I'm not actually sure, but yeah, extends their watch and attack range. That does indeed make sense. So, just from little pokes right now, we're in pretty good shape. And as soon as this is done, we've got some energy. Nice. So now all we need to build that is a little bit of stone. Well, that's okay. We should probably actually get producing on some stone then. So let's just extend our range out a little bit here. Let's also just have the wall just a little bit more extended. You get up here. Oh, okay. 
we got trouble. Uh, in particular, trouble that apparently that person can't actually reach. You don't have that. Oh no, yes you do. You just didn't see them before. Well, that's just bloody useless. Fine. So we've got kind of pokes coming in from zombies from all sides, but for the time being, our snipers in our towers are capable of dealing with it, so it's okay. And we've also gathered enough wood and everything to build quarries. Nice. So if I build a quarry around here, yeah, this quarry would be worth six stone, alternatively four stone and two iron. Okay, where well if I built that here, that's worth four stone, four stone. Did I really get five out of this? No, it's all going to be four. Okay, probably wouldn't be a disaster, as I'm going to need iron sooner or later, just for, yeah, four stone, two iron. So I'll build that there, but actually no, I'll build a safe one back here. I'll just build a nice safe one right here, and that'll just get some basic stone in. And with the stone we can build military unit, then I can actually start building an army and I'll feel better about life. In fact, actually, I can build both at the same time, that's absolutely fine. So let's just get both of them down. This one's really exposed, by the way. So probably what I should actually do is use my surplus wood to... Oh, okay, you just basically, yes, yeah, stay there and start shooting these guys. Um, it's worrying me that there are zombies coming from that direction, because I kind of need to expand in this direction. That's my only source of iron that's nearby. I mean, there's some over here, but I don't want to expand in this direction, and I particularly don't want to expand in this direction, alright? Alright, quarries have started coming in. Workers are a little bit on the low side right now. Probably time to just slap down some additional tents. Uh, I don't have enough resources for that. What's the problem? Ah, the food! The food's too low. Well, that's fine. Food is relatively very easy to sort out. If I just slap down one there, that's 13 food immediately. That is going to be... There's 11 food. If I just slap down... Oh, 15 food! Nice, that's a good spot right there. Good. So get two of them down, food will be fine, then I can do a lot of stuff there. Now, the thing is, if your buildings get attacked and taken over by zombies, all the workers inside the buildings, which is quite a few, themselves become zombies, which can be a problem. So now I've got stone coming in at plus eight, a lot slower than I've got wood coming in, however, so I've got to be careful of that. In fact, for the time being, I'm going to completely wall off this settlement. I'm pretty sure I can afford to do that without too much difficulty. So, yes, that should be fine. I'm just going to completely wall this off. Uh, oh, I might not quite be able to, but I should be pretty bloody close. Now, the game is saying I'm not allowed to build here because there are enemies too close to this location. And yes, I actually agree. So how about we just shoot that enemy and then we'll be okay. Lovely. Now, hopefully, there won't be enemies too close to this location because I've gunned them down. Nice. I was wondering why the game was being fussy about that. You should probably get inside before I actually close this in forever, by the way. Okay, and now I've completely closed this in for the time being, just for safety, just while we kick us off. Well, we wanted to demolish these walls later to expand out further, but this will do as a starting point, at least until the first wave comes in, and I can figure out where it's coming from and whether I'm capable of holding against it. So I've probably been a bit slow in developing new military units, because these are still just my starting units, just, you know, hidden behind a wall and in towers now. So now the only barrier to creating a soldier centre is not enough workers being available. Well, that is absolutely fine. If we just slap down some additional tents, that will be okay. We're probably ready to actually start tacking up as well, actually. They are attacking the colony defences, are they? Who's they exactly? They are... Okay, hang on. You probably need to uh, unload for the time being. Because apparently they keep attacking over here where we don't actually have a watchtower for the moment, which is mildly irritating. So just get over here, take out that guy, please. So just yeah, shoot them down. The tower defences are they're holding for the time being. This tower is not really well placed. It should be more like over here, probably, but never mind. It's okay. If I just move people around for the time being, we'll be all right. Here we go. One wood workshop that will actually help me develop more complex structures made from wood. That strikes me as a good idea. Yes, it's quite big though, so we'll just shove that over. Uh, here we'll do. We'll just kind of shove it over here, close by to the wooden wall, so everyone can learn from it. And then you just need to gather a few more workers and a bit more wood for the soldier centre, but don't worry, everything's under control now, probably. Our defences are being attacked. Apparently. Are our defences being attacked? Yes, yes they are. Get back in the tower you were originally in. Also, I see more things coming from over there. Just a little bit. I think it's okay for the time being. It's fine. We're just working on, like, infrastructure for the time being. Yeah, okay. There might be more of a big attack coming from this direction, but hopefully this guy can handle it for the time being. These two towers can also hold out. Okay. 
Yeah, there's definitely more starting to come from this direction. They're expanding vaguely in this direction. It's fine. Luckily, there's a repair all button. You can just basically pay to have all your damage structures repaired pretty easily. Uh, you are just going to be... You're going to be annoying, aren't you? Right, unload over to here, please. You just get over to here. Take that person out. Maybe just stay out of the tower. That tower is not really helping much right now. Now, this building's almost done. Wood workshop completed. Nice. I like the sound of this. So I can spend money to research things. Okay. I like the sound of this because, yeah, right now my tent's being everywhere is inefficient. So things like cottages and farms, that all works for me. Let's work on cottage first, because yeah, right now there's too many tents and they're filling up too much space. I'm just going to get some cottage going on. So that's basically just an engineering facility for researching new stuff. Gotcha. And I'm hoping this thing will be upgradable into a house once that's done. And the cottage is almost researched. Now, can I upgrade? Or oh, yes, I can. Marvellous. And if I want to upgrade, I'm going to need... Gold, wood, and energy. Does that, however, increase the capacity? I assume it does, because, yeah. Colonists, number of colonists living in this building is equivalent to four. Yeah, if I upgrade, then it becomes equivalent to eight. Fine. So I'm going to upgrade, and I'm going to upgrade, and I'm going to upgrade, because I have plenty of wood right now. So let's just convert a couple of tents straight into actual cottages. So the people who kind of live in these tents are probably going to feel a bit miffed about the situation. But this will give me all of the people that I actually need in order to fund training some actual soldiers. So there we are. Now we've got a whole bunch of free available workers and it looks much better as well. Ooh, a sniper unit. Sure, let's get you in production as well. Marvellous. I've got plenty of gold to pay for that right now. The problem is, yeah... I'm sitting on a fair few resources right now. I'm just kind of waiting to get some technology rocking on. So speaking of which, we're finally ready for a soldier's centre. Great, let's actually get some units trained, assuming I've got space to put it down in my base. I'm not sure I do. I've had to ever so slightly knock down my own defences in order to create some more room, because we need to expand. We're getting a bit low on the old space round here. That's fine. Okay, you just stay over there and help with that, okay? You guys should be able to take out, like, one of them on your own. Meanwhile, I'll build a soldier's centre, like, right here, and then we'll build some new defences, and everything will be fine as long as the major attack doesn't happen right. I physically can't. Okay, so I'm going to need an energy extension thing um, at this exact moment moment in time, because, yes, problems. Uh, okay, that's okay. I'll just build an energy extension thing right there. That's probably why we didn't extend here in the first place. Everything's under control. Okay, now we can actually afford to get some new units going on here. So, with a free worker and two wood and 120 gold, I can get some new rangers coming out. That's probably a good idea. We'll just set a rally point over there. If I want, however, to train soldiers, I'm going to need, ah, bonus foods. Because, yeah, any citizen requires one food, soldiers require two. Snipers also require bonus food. These guys have to eat more because they're carrying around heavy guns, I guess. I'm not sure. Probably best just to get a few more of those guys in production, however. Let's just get a few more rangers, because rangers seem to be pretty competent for the time being. But yes, my iron supplies is also required for the soldiers for their guns. That's fine, I've got a little bit of iron coming in all... Okay, apparently we have a breach over here that I was somewhat unaware of. So we should probably, like, get some people coming over there to help out with that. You just also go and help. Seriously... The undead. Shoot the undead, please. I think they're coming. We may have slightly missed it. So you guys just get over here. How bad is this situation right now? Are there more of them? No, it's okay. That's fine. We fought that off pretty quickly, all things considered. Maybe we just actually... Excuse me. No, 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 you don't. Don't get that close to them. Right, I think they might be coming. Just, just FYI. Right, I'm going to need more workers if I actually want... Okay, more workers. I can do that with... I don't have the food. Okay, I need more food in a flipping hurry at this point. Um, if I want more food, I'm going to need... Ah, I could have researched a farm. That would have been good food right there. Because I kind of feel like I'm already hunting these forests pretty effectively. Yeah, I'm going to need... I could expand in this direction to this forest. That wouldn't be... Uh-oh, I think I see trouble, by the way. I'm pretty sure I'm detecting trouble over here. Albeit, I can't see it because I don't have visibility of it, but they're totally attacking over there. Okay, this is... This is all fine. This is under control. This is... This is A-O-K-Y. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Um, send one of you over to, like, keep an eye on here. I'm going to need more food if I want more. So I'm just extend this wall 
over to here, that'll be fine. Here we go, a farm. Let's get farm research underway. Because right now I'm pretty sure I physically can't actually lay the hunter's cottage anyway. Because I'm already triple dealing with those. Maybe I can put one over here. Come on, let me put another one down. No, there's already one there. That's unfortunately too close, so I can't actually put another one down here. Fine, we need to extend out to these woods. Actually, we could extend to... No, we should extend to here, and then out to here. Loads of expansion room, water, forest. That'll be great. Right, that's what I think we can do right now. I've got the wood and the money to fund it. In fact, I've been kind of spending my money pretty badly, to be honest. So this new extension I literally just built. No, no not you. Not you. These things. I want all of this to go down immediately. So demolish all of that. I will get some of it back. I'll be... Ah, uh, my store's already full, which is kind of annoying. Okay. Just get rid of that. It's fine. What I need to do now is I need to send you up here just to keep an eye on what's going on in this part of the world. Okay. If this area is clear, then we need to build one wall going up. Yeah, you just basically stay there. There's some coming in this direction. You should be able to take care of that because these guys are slow shambly ones. They're infected youths. So as a result, yeah, they're not actually that good yet. Uh, what I need to do is I need to extend the wall north, but I'm going to need more power to actually get that funded. So, wooden wall. Yeah, just start that wall going north, but yeah, we've got real problems with the, uh, the power situation. It's going to take quite a bit of power to get us up there. Okay, we can make this work, but I need, I need workers to fund the Tesla tower. But until I've got more food, I can't have more workers, and I can't have more food, because right now I don't have anywhere to... Hmm, okay, this is interesting. Okay, technically hunters are allowed to be anywhere. They can actually be anywhere because they can hunt off the land. So if I just give them some nice grasslands to hunt off, like over here, apparently this is worth, like, nine on its own. So we'll just stick a cottage down there. That'll provide the extra food. The food will let me upgrade the tents into housing. The extra colonists will let me build more Tesla towers. Then I can continue the extension plan. As well as probably training a few more, you know, bonus troops. Because right now I'm a little bit concerned. I'm just a little bit concerned. Are you actually on you, by the way? No, you're not actually going to you. Fine. Just be more like over to here for the time being. As soon as that's down, that'll produce a ton of food. Then people. Then troops. Then walls. Then things. And oh, blimey, this starts getting dozens of infected are uh, near the colony from the south. Okay. When you say from the south, do you mean this south or this south? Because this is... This is not really the time I wanted that. Okay. In seven hours, dozens of infected. Okay, so we know where the big wave is coming from. It's coming from the south. Right. Cancel the extension plans for the time being. Just throw up a basic wall here just to basically hold them off. And then don't bother defending it. Um, yes, okay. We just need to get more stuff coming down over here. We've got the food for the time being. Okay. As we've got the food, expand, expand, expand. And expand. Uh, there's not enough food for that. Okay, I can get two sets of expansions there. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine. I'm not about to die, everything's under control. Uh, actually no, don't build the new wall just yet. Get her back inside. And get her into this tower. I assume you're allowed, like, multiple people inside a tower, right? I would guess so. I'm not sure what the limit for a tower actually is. Uh, so you just basically get over here. Right, now she's inside. Build just a basic wall just to keep this area safe for the time being. We'll kind of fix it later. Actually, can I do... Oh, you can do diagonals. Oh, that's way more efficient. I should have just been doing diagonals the whole time. Uh, that's okay. That's all a-okay. This is under control. You, yeah, you guys get over here. You probably need to... There's still some stuff over here that needs taken care of. Right, we can now actually train more rangers. Get more rangers into production and get them heading down to the south. It's still... Okay, now it doesn't say how long it is. I should have noted what time it was when that got announced. Because now I don't bloody know. Um, Right, well, this is potentially going to go wrong. The dramatic music's playing, so I'm assuming it's still bad. Life is still just bad in general. I need more food if I want to have soldiers. Soldiers will probably not be a terrible idea. Okay, can I just get a bit more food coming in just by building an additional uh, hunter's cottage just like in the middle of nowhere? That's five. That will be worth. I can't build it there. I can't build it here. Yeah, that's worth, like, nothing. There's, like, actually, if I built it here, that's five. Screw it. Just slap down an extra cottage there. An extra five will be worth it just for the time being. Can I? Yeah, then I can just get a bit more. I've got these free workers to produce some soldiers. And I feel like I probably should just produce soldiers. I'm just going to wait for... Oh, food is at minus one right now. Why is food? Why is food at minus one? I don't know. You get in there just for the time being. How did food get to minus one? And then, yeah, two units in there. 
two units in here, two units in there. We've got towers, we've got walls, we've got a double stack thing. This is not the highest difficulty. This is going to be fine. Hunt cottage is completed. That's a little bit more on the food side. That means I can actually have myself... Ooh, a sniper. Yeah, screw it. Okay, I think we found the problem. I think we've definitely found the problem. So, unload all units over to here. Actually, one of you, get back over here. Third one of you, however, yeah, you... Get up here and join your friends. So they're sneaking in right now. Oh, they're getting into the Hunter's Cottage and that's going to convert all of them to... Okay, how's this thing holding up for the time being? It's got enough health for the minute. Okay, probably... Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Don't panic, don't panic. Don't... Oh, say don't panic. If they come in here, if they start converting all of this, there's quite a few of them. I probably should have built more defences. Um, okay. You unload to here. Okay, you unload to also here. Literally everyone should now at this point, there's a sniper coming as well. Everyone who can move should be moving and responding to this emergency. The tower is holding for the moment. Okay, and then these guys will provide additional firepower. So additional firepower to here. Yep, that's fine. So now everyone just go, just go. Oh, three, you get, you three, get back, 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 get back. Just shoot them, shoot them before they start converting all of our... Okay, this is where it all goes to hell. Because I put all my tents close together. Literally all my tents. Sniper, oh, you're apparently incredibly slow. And now all of you are over here. Now I need to get my... Now they're all dying. Okay, just just start start falling back. Just start falling back. Just start falling back. And now the defences are wide open. Defences are wide open. This is literally wave one on medium difficulty. And now they're going for my main house. And I can't defend it right now because uh, basically all of my own citizens have been converted into the undead. The zombies are being chopped down by the sniper. Fall back further. The sniper apparently does not actually know how to run. I probably should have trained more troops faster. Okay, if I can just hold off here just for the time being. Just just blow them away. No. Well, it lasted for 18 days. That is actually definitely better than the last time I played this. So that's They Are Billions. It is pretty and it's fun. It's complicated. It's hard. And I'm not very good at it, because I've only played it for a minute. But it's very good. It's very, very good indeed. I've had a very fun time with it. So, link in the description below for this. Pretty darn solid. This is definitely, you know, one to watch. Right now, it's still in, you know, early access version. You can see down there on the bottom right, version 0.5.2. So, very solid and very attractive game for this earlier stage for it. I am impressed. You may well see this again in the future. We shall see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been the really rather promising They Are Billions. Thank you very much and goodbye. You know, I really hope we've agreed open borders with Japan, by the way. Otherwise, they have basically just invaded. I may have picked the wrong fight over. Yep. And my sisters, of course, have got even more flipping high tech. They're mysteriously still completely dependent on, you know, an aqueduct. Now, I'm not saying your entire army is mostly already dead. But it kind of actually is.